I fell in love with marine meteorology while I was sailing. You got it, I'm a sailor. And now how vital it is to understand the weather in order to sail better and more safely. The Mediterranean routes, some ocean crossings, this is where I realized that marine meteorology represents an extremely important factor for navigation. In 1989, I then made up my mind to get involved more deeply. So I went to a competitor, the Meteomere French Centre, coordinated by Pierre Lannier, an expert meteorologist whom I consider as one of the most important teachers. That is the place where I try to translate what the forecaster obtained in a technical way, giving data for a formal forecast, always using a language as simple as it could easily be understood and used in a practical way during my sailing trips. I didn't like to consider myself as a meteorologist, I prefer the different wording of Previsore Meteo Marino, exactly like the British who wish to be known as marine weather forecasters. This title involves the combination of marine meteorology with weather and navigation. How lucky I was to get to know the sea by sailing and then trying to learn more and more about the weather factors and the meteorological laws by studying the weather phenomena. In Navimeteo, we have been organizing practical training courses for professionals and boaters for several years. Every time, there are about 10 people gathering, studying charts, hearing bulletins and trying to understand what are the best routes to follow using route simulations. How great was the pleasure for all of us during these courses, confronting us with the idea of this training using a DVD, a way for us to speak to many of you in just a day, and share with you an easy and practical method, the method of transparency, which is just the weather in progress. It's where we put ourselves in relation to the geographical coordinates, we all know that our waypoint corresponds to a certain degree of latitude and longitude. We all know where we are and what definite route we are following. On this nautical chart, our imagination has to go to a transparency made up of lines, the isobars, symbols, warm and cold fronts, letters, H or L for high and low pressure, and numbers, the pressure values. Then, this transparency moves according to predetermined rules and we always need to understand how the weather is going to develop in the next 12, 24 or 36 hours.